Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. For my uh, seventh top tip, I'm going to be uh, uh, carrying on where we left off from uh, top tip number six. Uh, we learned how to um, uh, use uh, selections and make selections and convert them into adjustment layer masks. Okay, now uh, we can um, do various things to control the way we work with those layer masks, which is my uh, seventh tip here. Uh, for instance, if we want to see what this image uh, looks like uh, without the layer mask, uh, but with the filter applied or, um, to all of the pixels on the layer, I just need to hold down the shift key and click on the layer mask to disable that layer mask. Now the adjustment, which is a hue saturation adjustment, is increasing the saturation globally, i.e. to all of the pixels. So shift click um, will disable the layer mask and give you that uh, visual um, uh, clarification that is occurring by putting this big red cross through the layer mask and shift click again uh, to enable that layer mask. Now that layer mask is restricting its adjustment to just that uh, central area, the area that is white on that layer mask. Now the other way we can work with a layer mask is to option click or alt click on that layer mask. This shows us the uh, layer mask without the image. Now if you doing any manual masking work that may reveal um, some errors in your layer mask that you might need to fill in. Uh, what this has revealed to me is the, um, the uh, layer mask is um, it's a little bit sharp and so we could add a little bit of Gaussian blur to that layer mask such as filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. And we'll just add a small amount of softening so the transition between the pixels that are edited and not edited is a little bit more subtle. So I'll just uh, click OK. Just clicking on the layer mask icon away from the layer mask will put that image um, back into the normal view. So just remember anytime you want to view your layer mask without the image just hold down the Option or Alt key and then click on the layer mask to view the layer mask uh, uh, and then go back to the normal image. Okay, so we've looked at uh, disabling the layer mask and also viewing the layer mask by itself. We can also hold down two modifier keys, which is the Option Alt key and the Shift key together, and then click on the layer mask. What this does is it shows you the uh, layer mask uh, over as an overlay over the top of the image. Okay, so that is uh, another way of viewing uh, the mask as uh, as an overlay. Okay, now if if you wanted to uh, modify uh, the um, layer mask options or the options to go with that layer mask. For instance, if red is not a suitable color to view in association with the image, you can come into the mask options. Now here we can choose an alternative color. Let's choose uh, green as a color for the layer mask and uh, I'll select OK and then commit that. We've also got the opacity of that um, layer mask as well that we can control. I'll just select OK to switch the layer mask color to green. Now this is just a way of viewing the mask and the image at the same time if you need to work on any aspect of that mask uh, whilst viewing the image. Okay, so and again just clicking on the uh, adjustment layer icon will put the image back into its normal view. Okay, so those give you some um, controls, very important controls when dealing with layer masks. Basically uh, three sets of keyboard shortcuts uh, changes the way we can interact uh, with that layer mask.